All right, yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Detroit Become Human. I'm trying to get my phone to... There we go. Okay, so... Okay, we're good. Let's do it. I was trying to get my phone. I've run out of room. I have like this... Uh... This desk, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. Um, it's not really a desk. It's more of like a stand for my TV, and it holds all my consoles and whatnot. But the thing is, by the time I have my PVR, my mix amp, my mic, my mouse pad, a drink, and a couple other things up here, <laughs> it, there's like no room on it. We need Hank to say something about us dying previously. Make sure we didn't overwrite anything. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. Hey, man. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Come on, Connor, you don't have to be a dick. Who's Chris? I heard Officer Chris was attacked by deviants last night. Oh. Yeah, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But he got lucky. He said that this Marcus intervened to save him. He's still in shock, but at least he's alive. I don't really have to do much here, just not shoot the Chloe. I gotta be really nice to Hank from here on out. It's gonna be dicey. But, but I think we can get it done. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Alright. I need to read this magazine over here. I guess I'll ana analyze this real quick. Amanda. Gotta read this, tech addict. I wonder if I'm going to be missing any magazines. There, I see, you know, there's this one, which I got this one before, so I don't really think it matters, but nice there was girl. this. Um, You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. About to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. There's only two magazines left that I see. Guess I'll stand up. I don't know. We gotta wait for stupid Kamsky. Oh, here we go. Elijah, we'll see you now. Come on, Kamsky, get out of the pool. Kamsky, get Mr. out Kamsky. of the pool. Just a moment, please. What's the point of having three Chloe's that look exactly the same? Like, the hell kind of weird behavior is that? Why is it just moving? Get out! Of, why do you have to swim a lap now? Kamsky, get out of the pool. Kamsky, 
Get out of the pool. What if I stand right in front of the left? Is he just gonna push me out or he's gonna phase through me? I'm not moving. No, no, no. What do you think those Chloe's are talking about? These are supposed to be like the super obedient androids because they're his. I would assume, so I wonder what they could possibly I'm be I'm Lieutenant talking. Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Now they That's what you them. want to call them? Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. That's a game. Finality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I almost shot on it. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. 
He saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. It goes way up, but I don't think it went up far enough. I can't have him kill himself. We're still hostile. But, let's keep going. Time for the Freedom March. I... I, I, it's not gonna matter, I guess, maybe, but I can't have him kill himself. I need him alive at the end. Which means I guess they're... Okay, okay. I gotta grab this magazine, because I didn't get it last time. It's a good thing I remembered that. Because that's, like, wildly important. I'm just gonna scan through it one more quick time here. Can I scan over? Down one more, and there we go. Ooh, this is cool. played the piano the last time. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good and scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this 
world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. you for dead in his studio. We're lovers. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Maybe we won't exactly get Last Chance Connor done in this episode, because we haven't even gotten to the actual part of this mission. <laughs> Here we go. It's go time, and my chair is being loud. Like, what is this? This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. I think don't I'm going to buy... Oh, shit. We'll make them understand. This okay. is the only way. I think I'm gonna buy a DX racer. It's just a matter of whenever I decide there to actually buy that chair. To join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. But this chair, this chair is just pissing me off because like half of the time, it's good. Half the time it's fine, and then half the time it's, it's loud You're and free. squeaky. Like what is that? All right, though I'm comfy now. I shouldn't have to move again. And make loud noises. Come with us. I don't think it's enormously important that I convert these guys, but I will, just in case. You're awake now. <sighs> yeah, three androids. We're balling, baby. Been on hold for like 10 minutes. Lock the road. Yes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get I back need here. to block the street. You stay right here, you fucking machine. Shit, what's wrong with you? Do as I say, you piece of junk. You WD stand for waste disposal? Oh, I didn't even have a time to intervene with that guy. Alright. Pop the manhole.
All right, everybody, get out of the manhole. We could start our freedom march. Let's do it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, look, it's Kara. It's the Kara model. You're free now. What is it? The housekeeper model? What is she? Was an AX400? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that stands for. Let's go, boys. Oh, we're up to 49. We've been spotted. That does not look like 49 people, but, you know, I guess I'll believe you again. Oh, L2. The android's playing up again. What does that even mean? Marcus Walk, what are you doing? Greg, Greg, come back here. Greg! We walk so slow. Come on, man. This is always priceless. <laughs> I'd be retiring from the force. I'd be like, huh? Jesus fucking Christ. Hold on, I'm walking the wrong way. I got a lot of androids down here. Oh, look at our numbers. We're gigantic. They're marching. Set us free. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Set us free. Set us free. Fuck if I know. Set us free. Set us free. Set us free. Set us free. Freedom is not a very good chant. Here we go, we get to get mowed down in the street. But he remained calm. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. Oh, it's, the, oh, it's this If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Oh, you all suck, and you all gave me some terrible choices. This is your last chance! Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! 
We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Disperse. This is your last chance. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Stand ground. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. All right, let's run. Run! All right, Simon really liked my decision. I think mistakes I think mistakes were slightly made um let me check trophies I uh I think I needed to stand my ground there but I'm not sure um, um I I did okay okay well all right so let this finish out we'll start the next one Back to the main menu we go. Go back to the main menu. We gotta load that up. So we gotta stay in there. And we gotta take it. And then, I don't know. If we stay in there and take it... Um... I don't know. We'll figure it out. Accessing the story chart. Slide all the way to the end. Alright. So yeah, we have Night of Soul, and then we have Battle for Detroit. Um, okay, Freedom March. Can I... Is there a checkpoint later on? Oh, there is. Reach the plaza. Nice. Okay. So we'll load in here. I don't really need to save it. I just need to get the achievement. Or the trophy, whatever. I don't really know. We'll find out here. We'll find out. We gotta stand my ground. I need that trophy. So obviously, I don't think anybody dies of import. If anybody dies of importance, we'll just restart again after we get the trophy. That's the obvious thing to do. I think that's really the only thing to do. I tried to think of another option to do stuff, but there really isn't. It takes so long to load these, the ones that are like mid mission. Take for freaking ever. Um, let's see. This sounds really. Freedom sounds so terrible. Like, it doesn't rhyme. That's a good chant. It sounds good. Here come the cops. Where are they? There, here they come. Look at that one cop. Did you see that one cop? He was like, he skidded off the road. Where did those guys come from? Dude, those two guys on the far left, they came out of like team skirt clown cars. Like, where are they coming from? Those dudes were just hiding behind the building the whole time. Okay, so we just gotta stand our ground the entire time. And hopefully we don't die a horrible death. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This or die trying. Gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. 
But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. This seems like a really stupid way to try to gathering. secure your freedom. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. This first immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Why don't we put our hands up again? Like we We have to make a statement. We have to stay put, no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all! Sac sacrifice? Would hope. Okay, maybe not. I thought that was when Homeboy came and saved me. Oh, it is when Homeboy comes and saves me. John? John the badass. They come with us. Look at John. John's the real hero. They're coming. John is the real hero of this story. Give me my trophy. I think if you don't save John, Marcus just straight dies there. John joined in spare parts. Yeah, if John doesn't join, I think he just die. Right? I think he just die right there. I don't know what the other ones are. I guess Marcus loses to the police. That's, yeah, if you lose the fight. There's probably Marcus gets executed, Marcus loses the fight and die. I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue. Let me make sure flowchart's still good. Yep, Hank is still hostile. The public being supportive is the more important thing. Talk to Amanda. Is Amanda in the middle? Where is she this time? Oh, she's out on, like, the ice. I'm coming, Amanda. We're gonna do Last Chance, Connor. It's not that long of a mission. And then I should pop another trophy. I mean, if this episode ends up 50 minutes, no big deal. The last three episodes are going to be long. But we're close, and I'm, I'm pumped. Kind of excited to be close. I love this game, but... After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Screw you. Let's just stay silent. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson?
for her just say no just say no connor i don't know what you're talking about there you go i don't feel anything you know that i can't even like are you move suggesting my that i've been compromised no no of course not okay all right so here we go this is the final time i need to get connor killed i think you're off the case the fbi is taking over what but we're on to something we, we just need more time i'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it this isn't just another investigation it's a fucking civil war it's out of our hands now we're talking about national security here fuck that you can't just pull the plug now not when we're so close you're always saying you can't stand androids Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. If worse comes to worse, and I can't keep him alive, make it. Oh, Hank's not gonna diversion him for me this time. What if I just go there? He has already diverted himself. Nope, I have to make a diversion. The worst thing that can happen is I have to go all the way back to the Tracy's episode. Let me see, or episode. Yeah, I only have to go all the way back to 20. And I think if I spared the Tracy's, it would be enough. And then I could be nice on the bridge and he won't shoot me. Yeah, I think that would get it done. Or just be nice on the bridge. That might be enough. By the time you did the nice on the bridge and then the meet Kamsky, that might be enough to get him out of suicide territory. I need this guy's help. Oh shit! What, uh. Take key from Hank's desk. Well, then let me move if it's hurry to the archive room. I don't know what happens now. Uh, hopefully, Hank doesn't kill himself. There's gotta be a mission where I go in to Hank's house, I think. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Okay, so now I don't have much time. I got four minutes and 40 seconds. Essentially everyone here. Where 
is Jericho. The answer's here okay. somewhere. I can trick this guy. Which is what I'm gonna do. So what does he How need? Much time? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Okay, okay. Let's go. What's he need? Uh three nine eight three V. I think the guy at the end. The guy from the guy from the original thing. He has the parts. The deviant who took a child hostage. He can't oh, he can actually be reactivated. Yeah, three nine eight three V. Take three nine three eight V. Inserted in him. It's dark. Right. Where? Where am I? I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! Alright, now you... Why can't I use Marcus's... Oh, you gotta examine the whole thing. Okay, Marcus... Play it. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Okay, sample voice. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Okay, exit. there. Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Jericho's location. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Okay, just kill me, dude. Just shoot Don't me. Do it, Gavin. And my chair. I know weakening. how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Just, just shoot me, please. I just have to fail the quick time. <laughs> Gavin, you suck at fighting. Kill me. Thank you. That should be trophy pop, according to the internet. If not, I'm gonna have to remap stuff because... I'm not prepared to die the other times. Okay. I was lied to by the internet. <sighs> Unless they patched it and fixed it. It used to pop there. Unless it just didn't pop. Let me check. Mm, possibly. Uh... 
No, I don't think I got it. Yeah, I didn't get it yet, so I'm gonna have to go... Alright, before we end this episode, let me look up the other ways that Connor dies, and I'll let you guys know. Okay, oh no, not a, not a YouTube video, no. Here we go. I'll be back, trophy, so... says where is it oh so it pops in crossroad Okay, so crossroads, I have to get shot by a policeman. I'm assuming I... What was that? I don't know, it, do it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's one more. I gotta die in Crossroads. Okay, so at least we know. I thought that was it, but it's not. But, hey, we know now. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next one, we will get the trophy, because it's Crossroads. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.